yesterday what we completed was uh, budding's first example that is yeast okay we have completed till there now coming to the second example of the same method that is budding right so second mode we are doing that is budding and for that we have one example yeast which is a single cell member it's a single cell fungi and the, another example is that of hydra hydra is a animalia member okay hydra is an animalia member animalia group ka member hai in the animalia ka so coming to this hydra that has a special structure that is it is having a tubular body so first you will be making the adult structure that it is a multicellular organism okay this shows the tissue level of the organization so that means it is a multicellular organism this has a tubular body this hydra and towards its tip it has an opening which is protected by the tentacles the tentacles these help in uh, taking up of the food that is capturing up of the food or also they help protection against their uh, predators okay that is uh, those who are there to uh, make any harm to this organism this has the sting capsules in it okay sting capsules so cells you can say sting cells in it so that which protects it okay so these are the tentacles right so this is a body that is a tubular body and these are the tentacles i have made five tentacles you will be also making the same this is tentacle t e n t a c l e okay these are the tentacles right and the tubular body so yesterday we studied that in budding there will be the formation of the bud first of all which leads to the further its uh, maturation and then separating out from the parental body okay development maturation and then uh, separation okay so first of all there is a formation of bud firstly there is formation of bud number one when a bud is formed on this organism the same way you have to keep the number of tentacles as same but your structure can't be the same it's okay okay agar ye same ho sakta hai it is well and good but if not then also it is okay but the number of tentacles should remain the same tentacles are also going to move here and there so they are not going to be just fixed in one direction okay so you can just make it here and there moving here and there so they are okay for their changes but the number should be same right so there is a formation of a bud say a bud arises on this side of the parental organism right this matures this is a multicellular organism so we will not be able to show the cellular divisions here that is how the nucleus is undergoing the division how the cell membrane is undergoing the division we can't show it here this is only the multicellular organism internal changes are happening and what we can view outside आउटर सर्फेस में हमें क्या नजर आ रहा है पहला तो फॉर्मेशन हुआ फिर उसके बाद मैचुरेशन हो जाएगा वहां पर हमने स्टेप वाइज शो किया था न्यूक्लियस डिविजन साइटोप्लाजम डिविजन ईस्ट में ठीक है येस्ट डे वी टॉक अबाउट ईस्ट एंड हेयर इट इज जस्ट वन स्टेप दैट इज मैचुरेशन दिस मेच्योर द बड मेच्योर बड इज गोइंग टू मेच्योर एंड इज फाइनली गोइंग टू गेट ऑल द पार्ट विच आर सिमिलर टू इट्स parent organism okay so this is a tubular body of the parent again the number of the tentacles remains the five and their position may vary right okay and this is the fully grown bud okay this has enlarged in the size it has obtained the one mouth also this is it has obtained the mouth opening and which is also having the protection of the tentacles like this okay the tentacles that surrounds the mouth part in this also so this is the one which has fully grown this has matured up and it is similar to its parent now when it is similar to its parent when a new organism is made which is similar to the parent it is going to separate out right so the next step is that of separation so this separates firstly the bud is formed then it is matured then it undergoes separation okay as a result of separation what is going to happen this is a adult organism just give the difference between the size of the two so that we can just demarcate that these are uh, 
दीज आर द पेरेंटल एंड द ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स ऑर्गेनिज्म ठीक है तो सिर्फ आपको साइज में इसको बड़ा छोटा कर देना द न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म विल बी अ बिट स्मॉलर ओके सो दैट वी कैन कम टू नो दैट इट हैज बिन मेड अ न्यू वन ओके अ न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म हैज बिन एडेड टू दिस सो दिस इज अ न्यू ऑर्गेनिज्म and the phenomena the process called as budding it was made by budding so the process is called as budding so this is a new organism which has been added to the population and the parental organism stays itself like the same okay as it was earlier now also it is the same done so this is budding budding that is from a small protuberance a new organism is going to be made that is called as budding okay done now coming to the third method of the asexual reproduction so this was budding budding mein humne do examples ki hai yeast and hydra okay now coming to the next that is budding one second jaane haan ji bolo bhane sanya unmute yourself look okay? अपने थर्ड आरो पे क्या लिखा है कहां पे थर्ड आरो पे थर्ड आरो सेपरेट्स दिस इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मैचुरेशन ऑफ द बर्ड एंड देन सेपरेशन फ्रॉम द पेरेंट बॉडी ओके थैंक यू ओके सो द नेक्स्ट इज स्पोर फॉर्मेशन स्पोर फॉर्मेशन स्पोर फॉर्मेशन इज अ वेरी प्रोमिनेंट मेथड ऑफ एसेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन द फंजाई मेंबर्स That is kingdom fungi. Kingdom fungi के जो members हैं, उनमें spore formation जो है, that is very very you can say main type of the method of the asexual reproduction followed in fungi members. So the kingdom fungi, they are reproducing the members of the kingdom fungi. They are reproducing asexually by the spore formation, right? In the fungi members, that is if you study the kingdom fungi as a whole. you will see that there are number of spores which are produced there are number of the kinds of spores which are produced a different types of the spores are produced that is why this kingdom is known for matlab iska ek unique feature hai iska ek characteristic feature hai iske fungi members mein that they reproduces asexually through spore formation one example of fungi we did it that is reproducing through the uh, budding that is yeast because it is the only single cell member otherwise all the others are the multicellular and they reproduce through the spore formation okay what we are to study here is the only one type of the spore and that is also the simplest one okay the complexity we are not going to study we are not going to study the different kinds of the spores that which are present in the kingdom fungi it's only one type of a spore which is the simplest of all sporangiospores okay and along with one example that is example of rhizopus what is rhizopus rhizopus is a bread mold bread mold there is a greenish bluish green colored outgrowth on the bread surface if you keep it moistened for some time open air mein rakhenge agar aap then there comes out the certain growth theek hai that is the growth which is called as a fungal growth hum bolte hain na fungi lag gaya isko hai na so that is a fungal growth theek hai so that fungal growth that can be also uh, if you view it very minutely these also have the pin headed structures sometimes these molds that are present on the bread they also do have the uh, pin headed structure pin headed kya hota hai jaise ek needle hota hai na pin needle pin to uske upar ek rounded structure lagta hai to waisa structure iske upar aata hai theek hai to pin headed structures bhi is pe bhi ho sakte hai so just to understand this bread mold first of all uh, aap logon ko wo imagine karna padega if you have seen that on the bread surfaces the fungal growth that is a microbial attack when it takes place when it is moistened also it is kept out for the certain period of time when it attains good amount of the temperature as well as the appropriate temperature appropriate moisture and uh, nutrients that are coming from the bread so the microbial growth happens okay now for this rhizopus firstly the fungi members all the fungi members have their special body organization that is in the form of threads thread like structures hote hai jaise plant ke andar kya hota hai they have the root stem leaf you know Animals they have the limbs, four limbs, hind limbs, usual feature जो हमें पता है, ठीक है? Similarly here in the fungi they have a usual feature that of the 
main body organization as hypha hypha are the thread like structures of the fungal members the okay? thread like structures to so, hote kaise if say this is the bread structure i okay? am just making it out uh, that is for you for you people you have to just imagine it first of all just hold on you have to imagine it say this is the bread piece okay i am just giving you the example say this is the bread piece right this is the width of it right and this is the whole surface okay bread wala slice jo hai aapka ab is pure surface ke andar hai na jo iska width hai aapko dikh raha hai iske andar isme threads move karte hain threads present hote hain and what comes out are the small stalk like structures very tiny very very small bahut hi agar dhyan se aap dekhoge to they will be visible uh, as a pin headed structure okay black colored pin headed structures bahut hi dhyan se dekhenge to nazar aata hai so just to make that uh bread the type of the structure and the hyphae which are going on it uh, within it you will be just making this is a bread you need to have this much space for drawing the diagram this is the say width of the bread the bread slice okay that is why i am making it with the light lines you also make it with light lines okay then there is a surface of this bread right so this is the surface of the bread That is a porous surface that you eat, white color, है ना? So this is say the cross-sectional view of a bread, bread slice. You can draw this just to understand. I'm just making this bread slice. If you want to draw, you can draw this. Otherwise, you can remove this bread portion and you simply make the rhizopus member. So this is a hyphal growth. Okay, thread-like structures that are spread over here within the bread slice, within the bread slice. Okay, within its bread. At times, at particular positions, these also comes out as the stalk-like structures. They rises up as the stalk-like structures, like this. You know, so इस तरह से ये stalk-like structures rise कर जाएंगे from the surface. Okay, you can make them of the same length. You can make them of the different length, like this. ठीक है? At points, they come out as the stalk-like structures. and they can also be moving down theek hai isi tarah ye niche ki taraf bhi apni branching show kar sakte hain that is towards upper side as well as towards the down side done okay so these structures that which are coming out they bear up the spore carrying sac like structure jiske andar spore hota hai theek hai you can imagine there is a uh, tip over here aisa kuch tip hai theek hai dome shape अब ये डोम शेप टिप के ऊपर क्या है कि एक्सपेंडेबल मेम्ब्रेन है व्हेन द स्पोर्स आर क्रिएटेड द एक्सपेंडेबल मेम्ब्रेन एक्सपैंड्स इट एनलार्जेस एंड एज इट रीचेस इट्स मैच्योरिटी साइज इट बर्स्ट आउट ठीक है फूट जाएगी बर्स्ट हो जाएगी सो दिस इज फ्रॉम वेयर द स्पोर्स दे आर बीइंग प्रोड्यूस्ड ठीक है एक्सपेंडेबल मेम्ब्रेन है स्पोर्स बनते जा रहे हैं इसके ऊपर ऊपर इस तरह से स्पोर्स बनते जाएंगे एंड द मेम्ब्रेन इज ओपनिंग आउट ओके so similarly it carries a big sac like structure which is a sporangium sporangium is a sac like structure okay so this is now filled with the numerous of the spores at the same time there will be numerous of the new organisms which will be added from a single hypha from a single organism right so this is one sporangium then similarly the another will be having this particular portion from where the spores will be arising and it will be also having its own sac hai na apna sac like structure iska bhi hoga so this is it has the spores in it the spores are the rounded small sized structures which carries all the information of a parent and they are reproduced they are produced asexually ठीक है स्पोर्स होते क्या हैं द रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रोड्यूस ए सेक्शन एंड दे कैरी ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ पेरेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स इंफॉर्मेशन ओके सो दिस इज दीज आर द स्पोर्स डन आफ्टर रीचिंग द मेच्योरिटी साइज दे बर्स्ट आउट राइट सो व्हेन दे बर्स्ट आउट दे बर्स्ट ओपन द सैक इज लाइक ओपन लाइक दिस and the spores they come out the branch just a second beta the spores they come out leading to the other surfaces jahan jahan ye girenge wahan wahan pe ye nave nave 
organisms produce karwa hai so this way the spores they burst out okay han ji devansh mam wo daksh ko add kar lo daksh is not there in the list okay theek hai han ji beta uh, this is okay done okay so this is what this is the sac like structure the sporangium the sporangium which carries the spores in it and they are born on this surface that is the columella okay we we'll do the labelings ye clear ho gaya na aapko structure banana hai theek hai after attaining the mature size these sac like structure they burst out releasing out all these spores the spores they carry in itself the whole information of a new organism so wherever they will be falling again microbial growth ke liye teen special uh, you can say requirements chahiye hoti hai microbial growth ke liye first is nutrient that it is going to get from the bread second is moisture it is going to get from the environment and third is an appropriate temperature when there is a set appropriate temperature around in the surrounding then the microbes they start growing. okay unki growth jo hai wo shuru ho jati hai done so this is the fungal member that which has been made on the uh, bread surface theek okay? hai now do the labeling for this this is a sporangium sporangium is a sac which carries the spores in it okay so this is a spore carrying sac spore carrying sac it's a sac like structure which is called as sporangium done the spores which are produced within they are called as sporangio spores simply aap inko spores bhi keh sakte ho otherwise appropriately aap isko kyunki ye sporangium ke andar ban rahe hain to isko sporangio spore bhi keha ja sakta hai so this is sporangio spore okay you can call it as spore also but appropriately it will be called as sporangio spore done after this this particular area from where they have been organized this area that is called as columella columella c o l u okay this is u now the next is these stalk like structures which come out of the surface of the bread that which appear on the surface right so these stalk like structures they are called as sporangio spores okay stalks ko sporangio spore bolte hain aur spores ko sporangio spore bolte hain so these are called as sporangio spores p h o r e s four theek hai and lastly these are the structures that which run inside that have the main body organization of the fungi that are the thread like structures called as hyphae h y p h a e hyphae right <clears throat> so this is the structure of a rhizopus that which reproduces through spore formation ओके हां जी बेटा क्लियर एनीबडी हैविंग एनी डाउट एनी कंफ्यूजन इन द स्ट्रक्चर एनीबडी वांट्स टू आस्क एनीथिंग यस ऑल क्लियर हैव यू ऑल डन दिस शैल आई रेज इट सो दीस आर द थ्री मेथड्स ऑफ एसेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन first we have done vine diffusion in amoeba second budding in yeast and third budding in hydra this is second example is second of the budding only second method budding with hydra's example third method we have studied that of spore formation example rhizopus now coming to the fourth method of asexual reproduction we have total of five so this is now coming to the fourth method okay so fourth is by fragmentation through fragmentation how the new organism is going to give rise uh, be formed right so that is a fourth method 
that is fragmentation fragmentation now what is this fragmentation fragmentation is as the name is saying fragments right when the parental organism undergoes a fragmentation that is the parental organism forms the fragments all the fragments means the separated small units you can say theek hai chote chote jo ek pure long thread ke chote chote fragments ho jaye to usko hum bolenge fragments theek hai the smaller parts right so fragmentation is when a single parent that undergoes a fragmentation it splits into the smaller units fragments each of the fragment forms a new organism theek hai so that is the process called as fragmentation and here is the example that of spirogyra spirogyra is a filamentous algae spirogyra is a filamentous algae filamentous matlab its structure is like a filament okay and it belongs to the plantae that is algae members these are the algae members okay so fragmentation spirogyra ka structure kaisa hota hai spirogyra this is the filamentous structure say this is the filament okay in this <clears throat> the cells they are stacked one above the another like this the cells are stacked one above the another okay the cells are stacked one above the another and they are shielded by a common membrane that is why we call it as a filament फिलामेंट होता है जिसमें एक कॉमन मेम्ब्रेन भी होता है उसके सेल्स के अराउंड ठीक है शेयर करता है वो एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज स्पायरोगायरा बिकॉज ऑफ द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ दीज स्पायरल शेप्ड स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट आर क्लोरोप्लास्ट ठीक है स्पायरल शेप्ड क्लोरोप्लास्ट दैट आर प्रेजेंट फॉर व्हिच इट हैज बीन टर्म्ड एज स्पायरोगायरा ओके also each of these is a living cell that is why they also carry the nucleus along with the <coughs> sorry cytoplasm so along with the cytoplasm they carry the nucleus so label it all in the adult organism firstly this is the nucleus then the ribbon shaped chloroplast the cytoplasm that is dotted cytoplasm inner membrane is the cell membrane and outer because this is a plantae member so this is a cell wall okay so these are the various parts of the members of plantae that is uh, of this particular member that is spirogyra from plant right okay now our definition says that it is a method of asexual reproduction in which the parental organism this one undergoes splitting forms a separate unit smaller separate units called as fragments okay to agar ye splitting ho jati hai say yahan yahan se isme splitting ho jati hai okay ye splitting kar di maine beech beech mein i'm not going to show you the big fragment and then we are not going to just make the more and more of the fragments like that you can make the smaller and then you can uh, just show it and also these are not the half cells okay these are the cells that are continued above and at the bottom okay so agar supposing ye fragmentation yahan se kahin se ho jati hai beech mein se theek hai waise itni cells ke beech mein se nahi ho jati ki ek cell bhi reh jayega ho bhi sakta hai nahi bhi ho sakta hai to suppose ye fragmentation ho gaya इस फ्रेगमेंटेशन से हमारे पास तीन सेपरेट यूनिट्स तैयार हो गए है ना वन विद अ फुल लेंथ ओवर हेयर वन विद अ फुल लेंथ ओवर देयर एंड वन विद अ स्मॉल सिंगल सेल ठीक है डन दिस इज द थ्री फ्रेगमेंट्स व्हिच हैव बीन क्रिएटेड इफ आई मेक दिस दैट इज द ऑर्गेनिज्म इज हैविंग द सेलुलर स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज स्टिल फर्दर हैविंग द होल लेंथ फुल फिलामेंट अबव इट ओके अभी हम सिर्फ वही वाला फ्रेगमेंट से सेपरेट करके शो कर रहे हैं जितना यहाँ पे सेपरेट आउट हुआ है सिर्फ वही शो कर ठीक है जितना यहाँ पे विजिबल है 
सिर्फ उतना ही शो कर नेक्स्ट बीच वाला जो सेल था है ना दैट वॉज अ फुल सेल सो आई बी मेकिंग इट एज अ फुल आई एम जस्ट शोइंग दिस मच दैट हैज बिन सेपरेटेड आउट एंड हैज बिन फॉर्मिंग अ फ्रेगमेंट ठीक है सिर्फ जितना सेपरेट हुआ मैं उतने में से फ्रेगमेंट बना के आपको बता दूँ ठीक है उतना ही आपने बनाना है एंड देन विल कंटिन्यू मेकिंग द होल ऑर्गेनिज्म सो दिस इज द अगेन द साइटोप्लाज्म न्यूक्लियस एंड द स्पाइरल शेप प्लोरोप्लास्ट देन द लास्ट फ्रेगमेंट दैट इज दिस वन हैविंग द होल फिलामेंट बीनीथ इट कंटिन्यू ठीक है सो दिस इज द सेल राइट From a single fragment, three new fragments have been formed, and these three new they are going to make the each of these fragments. As I spoke earlier, each of these fragments are going to give rise to the new organism. So, each of these are going to give rise to a new, complete new organism. So, this way it is going to create a new organism. When you will be making a new one, you can just add on the cellular structures. ठीक है, add करके आप show कर सकते हैं. adding means if it was initially one you can show it now they are they have became two or more so you can just add the new cells showing that it is growing in the then that is making a new organism this way okay isi tarah aapne in sab mein bana dena theek hai same way you will be making it for all the three and ultimately we can say that this is a complete new organism over here theek hai one cell was initially there now it has led again to the formation of a full filament hai na similarly here that is this is also going to form the new fragment new uh, you can say spirogyra member theek hai with the number of cells that are making it this way, right so add on more of the cells showing that each of these has grown into a new organism full fledged new organism okay you are not to leave these boxes as they are okay it's understood you know hum log ko samajh aa gaya ki ye nama cell ban gaya you have to show each and every part in it right as it is having the uh, the parts in the parent parent cell nucleus cytoplasm chloroplast everything available okay so these are what these are the new filaments that which have been added or we can say new organisms that which have been added in the new generation done so this is the fourth method that is fragmentation okay now the fifth that is the regeneration that requires particular time so we'll be continuing in the next lecture regeneration okay regeneration that is done in the planaria so we'll be continuing in the next lecture anybody having any doubt in today's lecture all the three examples that we have discussed anybody wants to ask anything those who have not yet completed the labeling of sporangium or the making up of the fragmentation please do it fast till then anyone having any confusion any doubt yes kindly raise your hands if you have any confusion any doubts